some of my videos are not complete because they're meant to like be hooks to catch the audience's attention enough for you to subscribe to my podcast channel to fit to hear the full the full audio version uh some of this i throw it's just a a hook for something longer um yeah so your response should or reaction should be uh damn let me continue hearing more because the way i end it in one i say like from my last video i say i learned how a criminal can get away with a with a crime but i didn't tell you the other side of that which is that the government thought me to be a criminal not that i thought i was a criminal you know i was just uh showing you how they thought of me which was a criminal but in any case i've learned that as criminal if in their eyes uh i was still able to prove my innocence and come out on top but see you wouldn't know that unless you subscribed to my channel and got the full version plus i go into deeper details of other things um that's if you're like a a fan right you want to hear and a lot of you have not subscribed or pressed the like button um this is not good so you need to catch up ask questions maybe be like hey uh can you um talk more about this topic on your podcast i'd love to hear more or can you or maybe you could like uh just like subscribe uh, comment be like can't wait for the next episode or i was actually thinking about this with my buddy or something you know whatever comes to your mind just uh make sure that it uh helps the network expand all right that's that that by the way right i don't think you're ever gonna see um another president or candidate running for president who gets struck by a bullet or gets a, an attempted assassination and also uh, works in McDonald's, you know, for whatever reason, either way, uh, you'll never see someone do that, you know, where they took a day off to work in the community by working at McDonald's as a um the cashier window guy, you know, serving fries and stuff. Uh anybody who does that now will be like copying, right? But uh I'd say you you wouldn't see that anymore. If if you don't vote for the obvious um there's no point in that no more, you know. There's no it's, I don't see I don't see why people should talk too much about that. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Here's the situation. If uh, Trump wins, damn, because if he wins, right? Let's say he wins. And now that's like eight years, right? He wins the next election, got eight years of Trump. That's not a problem, okay. But now, by that time, right, people are going to get so used to his pre his run, his presidency, they're going to, they're going to want to, they're going to want his son to take over. So, boom. Now, Trump Jr. runs for presidency. Most likely wins. 
And this could happen between his candidacy and his uh, younger son. So it got me thinking, damn, we're looking at something like 28, 30 years of this dynasty. If it happens, you know, but if not, then we'll have the alternative, which is her, which is, I think, worse because it'll be more demonic, you know, uh, two evils, but you have to choose the lesser one of the two evils. I would, like I said, it's looking like it's going to be the dynasty. Out.